my fellow Cerulians. So today's video is going to be a little bit different to what I usually do. During this lockdown, I've been so, so bored that literally I've been going out every single day to get my exercise in because I'm just going crazy inside. Hey, you want to see crazy? I'll tell you. <laughs> Maybe the first week, I was just hibernating in the house and just realized it was just not good for my mental well-being. It's a mental breakdown. <sighs> I decided, you know what, I'm going to be going for walks and trying to do actually 10,000 steps every day, which I have been doing. I'm really proud of you. But I'm always going past the Sainsbury's and then it's just always drawing me in. And I've got to a stage where I'm buying random stuff that I would not normally buy. So I thought maybe I should do a video of just random stuff that I've bought at Sainsbury's that I've never actually tried before and giving you guys my, my honest opinion on them. Okay. What should we start with first? The Oat Bar by Nans, Nairns. I don't know how to pronounce the brown, but N-A-I-R-N-S. So it's an apple and cinnamon oat bar, gluten-free. It was in the gluten-free section, actually. Yeah, I remember it was in the gluten-free section. High in fiber, suitable for vegans. You know I have to do this. I know. <laughs> no hydrogenated fats. Nothing artificial, 40% less sugar. Let's look at the ingredients. Gluten-free whole grain oats, brown rice syrup, dehydrated apples, some dietary fiber, chicory. I don't, I don't know what chicory is. I might have to Google that. Gula -gula. <laughs> Coconut sugar, apple juice concentrate, some other random stuff. I mean, how many calories does this portion actually have? I hear when packages, they don't give you, they don't give you the nutrients per package. They just give it to you per hundred. It just doesn't really make any sense. I mean, this bar is 40 grams and you're giving it to me per 100 grams. Oh, I'm not reading it right. How are you coming first? It's giving it per 40 and per 100 grams. Okay, that's fine. 169 calories. Mm. Oh, that smells very, very good. Smells of sweet apples. Boom, 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 yeah. It's a little bit on the dry side. As you bite through it, it starts to get a bit more moist. What? Definitely smells a lot better than it tastes. Yeah, it definitely starts off dry and then it builds up as you break it down. Just looks like a dry piece of flapjack. <laughs> the moisture is kind of locked into those apples. The vegetable oil would probably be that substitute for butter. It's not bad, it's just not great. I paid 80p for it. I'll give it a score for free, average. Kombucha. So I did do a little bit of research on what kombucha is supposed to be, some kind of fermented, I think it's black tea. Don't quote me on that. You know nothing, Jon Snow. It's definitely fermented tea. Because of that process, the fermentation process, it's got a little bit of alcohol, although it does not say anything about alcohol on here. Another vegan-friendly item. Ingredients, kombucha with filtered water, kombucha culture, raw sugar, green tea, and oolong tea. So I was wrong. You're stupid! Stop being stupid! Some ginger lemon, which makes sense because it's ginger and lemon flavor. All right, here goes. I love the sound of a bottle when you open it. It's playing the Abbey! Yeah, very sweet, crisp. And I can taste that, whatever you call it, that fermentation process, I can taste it. It actually tastes like iced tea, but you can tell that there's something different about that iced tea. It's very refreshing. It's not too sweet. I could down a few of these. It's really nice. 26 calories. How come? I guess they just, they've just not used a lot of sugar in there. But that is actually really good. I paid 175 for this. It's not an alcoholic drink, but it's not a regular soft drink. So 175, maybe a bit steep. Then again, it is kind of brewed the way, well, not the same way you would brew beer, but 
obviously there's a process that goes into it and you know you you spend more on beer so why not on uh fermented uh iced tea i'm gonna give it a four out of five i feel like trying these spreads so we've got the biscoff spread some of you may know about biscoff their biscuits i actually knew they had a spread but i didn't know they were actually selling them in this country when i shop i don't really buy spreads as such when i do it usually will just be peanut butter and jam i don't get that that often i don't go for all the you know nutella chocolate spreads all that but i saw this and i thought you know what i'm curious let's see what lotus biscoff spread tastes like and here i've got whole earth smooth organic peanut butter the only reason why I bought this was because usually I buy Sunpat. That's a very popular brand in the UK for peanut butter. But because of the, you know, the situation that we're in, they're just not stocked up properly and all the Sunpat is gone. No, God! In fact, most of the peanut butter was done, but this was left. Oh, God, that is it. What I did notice was that the price was quite dear. I think it was like three pounds sign. Lotus spread, two pound 30. Whole earth peanut butter, three pound 20. So definitely this is the dearer one. It's 58% biscuit, palm oil, rapeseed oil, candy sugar. Definitely not healthy. One serving is about 88 calories. So that's 15 grams. I'm gonna measure it and see how much of a spread that is. I'm, I'm going to actually spread both of these on, on a bagel and see how many grams that constitutes. Roasted organic peanuts, organic sustainable palm oil, sea salt. This is definitely healthier. How many calories per serving? It does not say. It does not say. It's just based off 100 grams. They want you to do mathematics. Anyway, I'm gonna go and toast some bagels, come back and try these. Got the bagels, got a measuring scale here because I wanna be very precise. I wanna know what a typical serving looks like. Let's start with the Biscoff. It's got a nice golden caramel color and it smells like Biscoff. <laughs> That's about six grams, let's see. Does that cover it sufficiently? Just about one serving is 15 grams. So half a serving that is, because it's half a bagel, 44 calories. That's actually quite a lot. Right, let's clean this because we don't want no cross contamination, do we? My butt is itching like crazy and I took a shower. Need to make this a fair fight. I'm gonna have to calculate it because it doesn't give it to you per serving, give it to you per 100 grams. It smells like regular peanut butter. Oh, it's quite thick. Eight grams again. Oh, that easily covers the bagel. <laughs> Perfect. You get more bang for your buck with this spread, that's for sure. <laughs> So you can see the difference in color of the two. So the one on the right is the Biscoff and the one on the left is the peanut bar. No, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. I'll go for the peanut bar first. <clears throat> right, that nearly went down the wrong hole. That peanut bar is very expensive. Three, was it three pound 30? Three pound 20. Three pound 20. This has got nothing on some pack. I'm gonna give this a two and a half out of five. I expected so much more from this. All right, we'll try the Biscoff. Hmm. Oh, I like this. I, like I like this a lot. Looks like I'm gonna be getting this more often now. And actually, it's not even crazy sweet. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. It's that good. Actually, I think it's even better than the biscuit. Oh, that kombucha really hits the spot. <laughs> Let's try the other kombucha. Raspberry and lemon. I mean, the ingredients are exactly the same, except that for one, there's ginger, and for the other, it's raspberry. Are the calories any different? Nope, exactly the same, 26 calories. I think I prefer this one. As soon as you 
go in to drink it, you could, the aromas hit your nose. As they say, when you're tasting food, it's not just through your tongue, it's also through your nose. <laughs> why when you have a cold or whatever our food doesn't taste as great it tastes quite bland <sighs> very refreshing and crisp i don't know i don't know which one i prefer actually no 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 i prefer the raspberry but i'm gonna give this one i'm gonna give it a four out of five right six mini melton mulberry pork pies i assume that you would pop this in the oven but there are no instructions to actually cook it in the oven, which I find very odd, especially because it's supposed to be kept refrigerated and this is a pie. Why would you eat it cold? Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Let me, let me try it cold, actually. And even though there's no instructions, maybe I'll pop it in the oven and try another one. Another one. Does smell good, though. Mmm, that smells good. Oh, they're quite wham. They're quite beefy. You think beef is an accurate description? I imagine that this is very caloric. Per pie, you're talking 202 calories for this small little baby. It is quite beefy. Look at the size of that. I mean, it's supposed to be a mini pie, but I think for mini pie standards, that's quite beefy. It's quite weighty. I think I would prefer to put this in the oven. Let's have a cheeky bite. I don't think there's anything great about it. I do not like it. And I've gotten into the meat filling. I don't think the pie crust or the meat filling is anything great. I'm actually going to have to pop this in the oven because based on how this tastes right now, it's terrible. I'd actually give it a one. Let me pop it in the oven. Strawberries, clotted cream, shaken udder. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> Semi skim milk, sugar, strawberry puri, clotted cream. But the cream will rise to the top, oh yeah. Sounds alright. Supposed to be some kind of uh, strawberry gourmet milkshake. It's very creamy. Not that sweet. It's okay. I don't know, it just doesn't blow me away. <laughs> I'll give it an average score of three. And how much did I pay for it? One pound 40. Damn! For something that's average, one pound 40 is a lot. <laughs> 69 calories per 100 ml, and this is 330. 227.7 calories. I wouldn't buy this again. Ah! Right, Kit Kat. One of my favorite chocolate bars, actually. Definitely prefer Kit Kat Chunky to the regular Kit Kat. Let me know in the comments below, what do you prefer, Kit Kat Chunky or Kit Kat Original? Now I picked this up because I am an absolute fan of salted caramel. I love anything salted caramel. And I saw this Kit Kat salted caramel fudge. Maybe it's been around for a while, but um, I don't make it a habit of buying chocolate bars regularly, so. Why the fuck you lying? I only just spotted it. Thought, I'll try it. Hmm. This is my favorite Kit Kat Chunky now. Better than the original. Definitely better than the peanut butter. And I like how the salted caramel is very, it's very subtle. I mean, you can't even see it in the bar itself. There's just a thin layer embedded in the, in the waffer. Favorite thing that I've had today so far for this video. I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. That is delicious. Right, what have we got left? waiting for the, the pie to be done in the oven. Got this urban fruit, and we've got this sparkling lemon, tangy lemon and grapefruit with a hint of apple. I need to get a glass cup for this because I, I don't drink out of cans, guys. I haven't done so in, what, 15 years? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Got the ice. As soon as you open the can, the aromas just like, they hit you in the nose. It's very strong in the grapefruit. I can smell a lot of that grapefruit. If anything, that is the most overwhelming flavor here. I already know already this is gonna have nothing on ting. 
If you don't know about Ting, get to know about Ting because Ting is the Ting. Okay. Decided to add some ice because uh, it's not that chilled. So I want to be fair. Carbonated drink with fruit juice, natural flavoring, flavorings and sweetener. So what sweetener does it use? It uses Stevio. I like Stevio. Whenever I see a brand using Stevio, I'm, I get happy. <laughs> It's plant-based. It's not an artificial sweetener like sucralose or aspartame or any of those other funny, weird sweeteners that can wreak havoc in your body. And they taste funky as well. They don't, they just don't taste right. Dead. Fucking horrible. Yeah. Oh my days. That is so dead. The clue was in when all I could smell was grapefruit. All I can taste is that dotty grapefruit from the makers of Volvic. Well, Volvic, You've done a disgusting job. Don't look down, just keep your head. I'm so pissed I bought this. I spent a whole pound on this. A whole one pound on this dotty drink. It's gonna get a one. Urban fruit. I know about these guys. I've never, ever, ever tried any of their products before. But I do remember quite a while back, actually, when I was going for one job interview and urban fruit came up. I definitely did get headhunted by them, gone through maybe one or two stages, phone interview or whatever, but I never had a face-to-face -face interview. Oh my God, who the hell cares? I remember at the time reading up on their products, thinking, oh, this is quite clever. Trying to encourage kids, especially, to eat fruit. But if I'm honest, you've got this little packet, gently baked mango, and I remember I saw the price and I thought, that's kind of mad. Yeah, AEP. But actually, that, that's not the full price. It, the price was slashed. It was actually supposed to be a pound. No, 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 no. And this is really small. You can see. You can see in my hand. You can see how small it is. It's really small. Anyway. <laughs> that smells rank. I'm not going to lie. I'm not looking forward to eating that. Hmm, doesn't taste that bad actually. Definitely tastes better than it, than it smells or looks. It doesn't look good either. <laughs> that don't look right, come on. Look at that. Just looks like some wrinkled piece of fruit. Yeah, I'm really impressed. This tastes really good. Trying to grow on me. That is actually really nice. The more I eat it, the more, the more I want it. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. This is really good. Almost like you're cheating that you're having a sweet treat. It's really delicious, actually. Okay, I think I've tried everything except for these pies warm. So I'm gonna give it another go. A few moments later. Come out of the oven. The pie's gone a bit stodgy. That has improved the taste. However, I'm struggling. I don't know whether to give this below average or an average. I don't know. I'm gonna give it an average score of three. And there you go. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys really liked and enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. If you would like to see me do more content like this, let me know in the comments below. Like always, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, till next time, Peace.